Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, Wes Troop, here on another Anticipation Friday. And guess what we're going to anticipate this week? Tron Legacy comes out today. So uh, I thought I would go back and watch the first one from 1982. That's right, even before I was born. That makes you... I'm sure I just made a lot of people feel old out there if you remember when the first Tron came out, so here we go. The plot of the original Tron. A hacker is sucked into the world of a computer and is forced to compete in gladiatorial games. Wow, sounds like uh, me in gym class. <laughs> you get sucked into a world and you have no... Never mind. All right. His only hope of escape is with the help of a heroic uh, security program named Tron. Wow, I never would have thought that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, your cast, Jeff Bridges, plays the main character, Kevin Flynn, slash Clue. That's his program name. Bruce Boxlitner, I'm sure I butchered that, plays Alan Bradley slash Tron, so he's the big britches in the video game world. David Warner plays all three of the villains, uh, Ed Dillinger, Sark, and the Master Control Program, or the MCP. Wow. Uh, Cindy Morgan plays Laura slash Yori. Yori is her uh, program. And Ber it also stars Bernard Hughes and Dan Shore. Well, you know, this uh, movie is quite interesting, to say the least. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to find it for a while because I knew I wanted to review it before Legacy came out. And uh, I couldn't find it on Netflix, couldn't find it at Redbox, couldn't find it anywhere, really, without buying it. So, luckily, I found it on YouTube. So... It is what it is, right? When you go, when you watch movies on YouTube, <laughs> you don't exactly get all the high quality. So, uh, you know, the movie really focuses on special effects as its strong part. Um, back in the '80s, there hasn't, there weren't many great special effects. Like, um, if you watch the Space Munity movie that they make fun of in Mystery Science Theater, it's a, it's a good laugh, you know, to see those old effects. But this was really like a turning point for special effects when this movie first came out in 82. Um, you know, uh, you know, they were groundbreaking effects. Um, but as I watched it in the year 2010, this original version, it's like, oh, wow. Um, I feel bad for the people in the 80s, you know, when we have this, the effects we do today where they can do a lot of different stuff. Um, but, you know, not so much groundbreaking, but it was back in the 80s. It gave a lot of people uh, a lot of uh, nerdgasms back then. Um, you know, I, I, and like I said before, I, I watched it on YouTube, so I'm sure even on a television screen it would look better than uh, <laughs> than on, uh, you know, my, 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 my laptop screen, so. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, lot, there's a, speaking of computers, there's lots and lots of computer talk in this movie. So if you're not too tech savvy, you might be a little confused. Even if you are tech savvy, you might be a little confused as to what the heck's going on with uh, programs and whatever. It takes a little while till you get into the world, per se, I guess, if you have no idea what's going uh, This movie was hit, hit pretty hard for its story. People were a lot saying it's all effects and no story. The story is there. It's just, it could be better than it was, you know. But, whatever. <laughs> you know, Disney took a big risk on this film because uh, Disney had never done a film like this before and it paid off for them, you know. So, kudos. <laughs> you know, uh, even if you do say the story is eh, it's still a fun ride, you know. And you, and you can't doubt that it's an original story, you know. It's, uh... <laughs> Certainly, there haven't been many movies where people are sucked into video games before 1982. So, you gotta give it that, right? Um, Cast-wise, the cast is all pretty good, but of course, Jeff Bridges is the standout in most of the movies he's in. Um, so, definitely, Jeff Bridges is good in this film. Therefore, the A-list gives the film Tron the rating of Do It. 
I would I would suggest trying to check it out before you go see the uh, new one. If I try and find it on YouTube, if it's still up there. I don't know. You know how YouTube is. Um, but, you know, uh, I'm sure you, you can sort of survive seeing the second one without the first. But I'd recommend checking the first one out to see if you like that first. If that makes sense, hopefully. Um, next episode, I will be reviewing Tron Legacy. So, keep a lookout for that. So, uh, till the next review, till the next A-list, whatever you're watching, till then, Troop out.